So we have this code where we are reading in five numbers and adding them to a sum, and it's done in the worst way possible. We're actually just, we copied and pasted that code. Much better for us to do a loop here, and that leads nicely into a discussion of the control structures that exist in Java. So we can start off by introducing some that look exactly like the ones that are in Scala, of and similar to many other languages. For example, if if a is sorry, a is less than four, do one thing else, do something else. Okay. Compared to Scala, one thing that I will note is that the if is only a statement. It is not an expression. I could not say something like int b equals and have it give us back a value. As you can see, we get an error there. There is a construct in Java that does that. It's the ternary operator. It's the same as the construct in C or C++ <clears throat> that allows you to get a value from a conditional statement. So the if, at least as a, as a statement, is syntactically identical uh, to the one that's in Scala. If you only have one statement in here, for example, in this situation, you can leave off the curly braces. Curly braces give you blocks of code. Once again, the blocks of code are statements, not expressions in Java. Um, but yeah, so as a statement, it's, it's identical. And of course, we can leave off the else and that is perfectly happy. As far as loops go, well, it turns out that the while loop and the do while loop are basically the same in Java as they are in Scala and most other languages. So let's make an int i that starts at zero and while i is less than five we're going to increment i and read in a value and increment it. Okay, I'll go ahead and just so that we're actually doing something with that value, go ahead and print it out. So while loop, while a condition and then a body that is after it, if the body only had one statement we could uh, just put that one statement there. If it had nothing, you can actually put a semicolon or a set of empty curly braces. Um, things that are different here. You'll notice I did a plus plus i. This can also be an i plus plus. So we have a pre-increment and a post-increment. Uh, that did not exist in Scala. You had to do a plus equals one. Um, but other than this, you know, the while loop is basically the same thing that we would have written. Of course, for this particular situation where I know how many times it's going to happen, I would probably not use a while loop. And there is also a do while loop in Java. Just like in Scala, you will pretty much never use it. And it has the, the same syntax, starts with a do, ends with a while, and it always happens once because it's a post check loop. What about the for loop, though? So the for loop in Java is actually a C style for loop. So what happens is it's basically a decorated while loop. The declaration of our looping variable moves into the first part of the loop. The thing that advances it forward, our iterator, goes right here at the end, and the condition that had been in the while loop goes in between, and they're separated by semicolons. And so this code is doing the same thing that the while loop did. Our for loop, there is no yield. It is not a statement, or it is not an expression. It is a statement. It was not going to produce a value for you. It is just going to do things multiple times. 
Note that because it is technically just a while loop, I do not have to use it for simple counting. Okay, you can do basically whatever you want inside of a for loop. The only difference between, between the for and the while is that the for has a built-in place to declare and initialize a variable uh, or variables and a built-in place for you to advance to the next thing in addition to the conditional. So for most purposes, it's still safer than the while loop because you're less likely to forget these things. Of course, the problem with the while loop is that you forget to increment your variable and then you have an infinite loop. The for loop makes that very unlikely because this just looks weird. And if you don't have the, set, the second semicolon, it doesn't compile. So it's very easy to, to remember what you're doing there. Uh, it's also easy for people to read and figure out how things are working. Um, but it is a statement only, and it just repeats things. It's, it's a glorified while loop in the Java language.